I'm Galen Hare, partner at Insurance Claim HQ, powered by Hare Shannara, trial attorneys. One of the most devastating things that happens to clients is when their insurance settlement amount is less than the actual cost of repairs. And people call us to tell us this happened to them, and they want to know what they should do. And then we have to determine whether we can take that person on as a client. So, if your settlement amount is lower than your actual cost of repairs, there's a few things you need to look at. First of all, were you over your policy limits? If you were, there might not be anything you can do about it other than look at whether you have a bad faith claim. If you weren't over your policy limits, you need to submit those bills to your insurance company to see if they will pay them. Sometimes they will, and they just misestimated your loss, and that's why they underpaid you. Sometimes they won't, and they will tell you that they think a contractor should have done it for cheaper, and that's your obligation because you hired the contractor you hired at the price you hired them at. I completely disagree with that statement, and I think if you hired a good, solid contractor and they charged you a fair price, the insurance company should not be able to nickel and dime you on what they wanted to pay because they don't have a right in most states to choose who you hire, although in a couple of states they can. So if your amount is lower than ultimately what it costs you to fix it, if you don't have good qualified help, you need to at a minimum submit those bills to your insurance company and make sure you have enough time to do that. And if they do not respond, you need to, need to, need to get a good qualified insurance professional to help you, whether that's an attorney or a public adjuster. By then a contractor is really not gonna be any help because you've fixed the work and make sure that you are fighting for every penny you deserve. Uh, unless it's your deductible, other than your deductible, in a perfect world, insurance should not require you to pay out of pocket for damage that was caused by the storm or the date of loss or the fire or whatever it is. You should not be out of pocket other than that deductible. If you have any questions about this or really anything for your claim, give us a call at Insurance Claim HQ. We'd love to help.